Stop ruining your hair with the flat iron. It is so easy to accidentally destroy your hair. So today we're gonna go step by step to show you all the danger areas to make sure you have the straightest, healthiest hair of your life. Mistake one, trying to flat iron unruly hair. Right before we started recording this, we blow dried Francesca's hair to get it nice and smooth. Here's a look at her hair before. If we tried to flat iron that, we would have had to use a ton of heat and then it wouldn't have stayed straight for very long at all. The messier your hair starts out, the more you're gonna have to fight it with a flat iron and you do not wanna fight your hair with a flat iron. Your hair is going to lose and get really, really damaged. The next mistake is doing the wrong number of passes. There's a huge debate on how many passes you wanna do with a flat iron. And my strategy is the exact opposite of what most people say. I don't like to go really fast or really slow. I like to go really in the middle. That way, if I miss a spot or if it needs more heat, I can always go back up there to whatever I see. I'm just coming down and then looking for places that I need to do over again. That way I only use as much heat as I need. If you go really, really slowly, the heat is gonna build up. The faster you go, the less heat actually gets into the hair. You're always gonna be better off going back in to add more heat than if you were using too much heat in the first place. If you're going really, really slow and it looks great the first time, you probably use too much heat. Next mistake, not getting really close to your roots. If you don't get the root very well, the root will start to frizz up. Frizz is contagious. It'll start to go down your hair and ruin everything. So when I do the roots, I kind of do like a little bump, 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 bring it down. And I'm not going super fast, but not super slow either. And then I did my first pass. I'm gonna look again. How does this look? It looks pretty good. So. I'm just gonna leave it right there. Next mistake is starting in the front. If you ever mess up or you don't know what you're doing in the back, nobody is gonna see this. So it's a great place to get warmed up. So on your first couple sections, you're just getting a feel for the hair. You're going over it, seeing how much heat it needs, how many passes on average you need to do to get it to look good. And then after you get the hang of it, everything else gets much easier and you're kind of on autopilot and you already know what to do without thinking. That way, by the time you get to the front where everybody's gonna see that, you're already in the rhythm. And you know exactly how it's gonna come out. It's gonna look a lot better. Another mistake, not using a comb. If you watched my last video I always use this comb when flat ironing a lot of people use their hands and that's totally cool but the comb is gonna help keep your hair straighter if you don't use a comb hair is gonna be overlapped you're gonna have tangles and stuff like that what you really want to do is put this comb right before the flat iron so as soon as the hair goes into the flat iron it's nice and straight it'll stay straight longer that way and the longer your hair stays straight the less often you have to wash the less often you have to flat iron and the healthier your hair is going to be you don't want to be doing this all the time many people also use the wrong pressure one thing that a lot of people don't think about is how hard you want to press with your iron you do want to press firmly to make sure you get it into the hair but you don't want to press so hard that you're actually uh, and then it gets stuck and then you go down uh, and it gets stuck. It should be a nice smooth process the whole time. Anytime you're getting like, uh, you're missing all that up here. It's not getting heat. It's not going to stay straight. And wherever it paused again is going to get way too much heat when it sits still on the hair. It's going to do a lot of damage. It's going to ruin your hair. Next mistake, ironing huge sections. Section size is also huge. You wanna be about like this, about an inch. If you have thinner hair, you can do a little bit more than that. If you go bigger than an inch, the section's gonna be so big, the heat will never get to the middle, which means the middle isn't gonna be straight. Or if you keep the iron on there for so long that you actually do get the middle hot, the outside's gonna be torched because you had the heat on there for so long. You're gonna ruin your hair by doing too big of a section. You need to keep smaller sections like this, keep it manageable, and then cut it in half left and right. Next up, ironing tiny sections. You also want to utilize the entire width of your iron. Taking a small section like this is a waste because you can fit a lot more on the iron like this. Always do almost the entire size of the iron. Another mistake, not using heat protection. Flat ironing your hair without heat protectant is like walking the Oregon Trail without any shoes. You're not going to make it. And heat protection isn't just this boring thing that maybe protects your hair. It absolutely protects your hair, but it also makes it look 
better. It actually coats the hair and then creates a shiny barrier. As soon as the heat comes in there, it activates it, makes it super shiny, makes it look way better. And on top of that, there's hold in this heat protectant. So it'll make your style last much longer. The longer it lasts, the healthier your hair is gonna be. Next mistake, using heat protectant incorrectly. I've talked to a lot of you and you've used heat protectant before and you didn't like it. It's because this is different than any other product that you use. It's really tempting to take this and just go all over, all over and make the hair wet. A lot of people think that if you can't feel it in the hair, it's not doing anything. And that's absolutely not the way this works. If you put so much of this in your hair that it's wet and you can feel it, it's going to be crunchy. And then if you use a flat iron after that with all that product in your hair, you're going to feel it and it is going to be gross. If you use this correctly, you will never know that it's in your hair. Yes, it'll look shinier. The style will last longer. It'll have more hold, but you cannot feel it. The hair should feel amazing. This only has benefits, no downsides. My philosophy on hair and especially heat protectant is that less is more. The less product you use, the fresher, the lighter, the bouncier your hair is going to be, the longer you're gonna be able to go between washes, the longer you go between washes, healthier your hair is gonna be. So this is how we're gonna do that. When you spray this, you're not gonna spray it close up here. If you do that, it's gonna all in the same spot. You're never gonna be able to spread it out. What you need to do is spray it back here. That way it has time to turn into a fine mist like that. You're only gonna do a few sprays here, nothing crazy, take it easy. Next up, not brushing heat protectant through. And this is super important, you have to brush this out. If you don't brush it out, you're not gonna spread it evenly throughout your hair, and there's a chance it's still going to feel clumpy and that you're not gonna protect all of your hair because it's not spread out. After you're done brushing it out, you're just gonna come in with your flat iron and you're good to go. Ironing every day, huge mistake. This is the single best way to ruin your hair. For all of you out there that are using a flat iron to touch up your hair in the morning, you are going to destroy your hair. Please stop doing that. You should not, under any circumstances, be styling with heat every day. At a minimum, you wanna wait at least three days before you use heat again. Never forget your hair commandments. Let the products do the work for you. You should not be styling your hair every day. You should be letting the products keep that style looking amazing for a long time. Another mistake, using the wrong heat setting. All right, let's talk about heat settings for a second. And if your iron does not have heat settings, you need to get a new one. You've probably heard that there's different temperatures that you need for each hair type, and depending on how fine or coarse, you need to adjust your temperature to that. But there's a little bit more to it. You can have two people that both have fine hair, and if one of their hair is curly and one of their hair is straight, the curly hair is just gonna need more heat even though they have the same hair type. It's just the way it is. Generally, for fine hair, you wanna be about 350 to 375. For medium hair, you wanna be about 375 to 400. And then for coarse hair, like Francesca here, you wanna be around 400 to 425. Another mistake, using the wrong type of iron. You also need to know that there's two main types of flat irons. You have titanium, which is what I've been using this whole time, and then you also have ceramic, like this guy. Ceramic is great for beginners. If you're just starting to use a flat iron, you should definitely get a ceramic. These are really forgiving. They will not damage your hair very easily because they don't transfer heat very well. The downside to using this is they don't get your hair very straight. If you have naturally straight hair already, this guy will be fine. But the thing is, like we said earlier, you want your hair to stay straight for days, as long as possible. And if you use a ceramic, that's not gonna happen. So if you're serious about straightening your hair, Hair, you need to upgrade to a titanium. Titanium is what we use in the salon every day. This is what's gonna give you the best results. It's gonna give you the straightest hair, the smoothest hair, the shiniest hair. But the downside to this is if you're not experienced with a flat iron, in other words, if you're going through your hair and you accidentally stop or get tangled or something bad happens, this will damage your hair. So you should only use this if you're already in a good routine and you know exactly what you're doing. Next mistake, denting your hair. Another thing that a lot of people tend to do is not putting on the flat iron straight. If you go at an angle, if you come in like that, you're gonna create a dent. It's gonna be like a line right on there and that's gonna show you wanna come in completely straight like this. The key is to get the hair 
up at whatever angle, almost like rays of the sun. Perpendicular is the technical term. And again, I always like to do a smaller section up top here because this is gonna be showing in the part to make sure I do a really good job here. You also wanna make sure not to apply this at the root. If you're looking, I'm always starting about here. If you get this to the root, it's gonna be gross in there. Next mistake, not finishing with oil. This is like the cherry on top. If you don't use this, you are really missing out, especially on your ends. I'm using a lot here because we have a lot of hair. Most people are not going to use this much. If you have fine or medium hair, literally use like a quarter of this. You wanna start with your ends, then come up a little bit to your mids, and then only if you really know what you're doing, do the top here. Coarse hair, it's okay to do the top, but do fine or medium hair, you really need to be careful up here. But skipping the step entirely is a terrible idea. Hair oil makes your hair so much healthier and so much shinier. It gives you a great polished look here. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out. I hope you'll check out another video.